Welcome back everyone to the Tahoe Lifestyles and Dining Show. We've taken it from Incline Village at Sunshine Deli to right here on Ski Run Boulevard with the owner of Blue Angel Cafe. Thank you for carving out the time here. This Very man welcome. is busy. We're setting up for a wine dinner here. One right. of the first you've had right. down here. And we're gonna get into those details for a little bit, but for somebody that's visiting and that's never been here before, lay the groundwork for them. Thank you. It, it's I, We're off the beaten path. People love coming here because we're this signature Tahoe cafe, but we're not on the main strip. We're in a, tucked away in a neighborhood. And it's really cozy and it's just relaxed, but our food is really out of this world. People just rave about what a good job our chef does with international food. Mm -hmm. That's what really my yeah. wife, Rosie and I, we wanted to start a restaurant that was international yeah. was because we had kind of gotten used to the opera ski places in Europe for a couple winters when we were there. Right. So that's that was really the concept. We wanted an international cafe with foods from all over the world and our chef has helped make them really innovative dishes yeah. where he's blending in Northern California essences with European favorites, beef bourguignon, um, mm -hmm. you know, which is this red wine stew, it takes forever to cook. And the flavors are really rich throughout, but um, the Thai curry, yeah. the English fish and chips, yeah. you know, you just go down the list, but he's even made some really interesting lamb tostadas, you know? Ooh, so ooh. it's just all over the place, but he tries to, you know, make it really interesting and healthy. Yep. Um, we have a lot of vegan and gluten-free options on our menu uh, because that's really important to us as well right. as, as owners. Some um, of the most I've seen on a menu for one restaurant. The, my, my favorite, the turkey and brie wrap for some of the more traditionals out there or yeah. the barnyard burger Absolutely. out of this world. So. Yeah, he's been, uh, for a few years, he's been taking three different meats mm -hmm. and blending them together. But we, we source lamb and pork and beef from different places so that we get the quality yeah. that we're looking for yeah. and we make our own patties out of it. And it's got this amazing tomato fennel jam that mm -hmm. you know he thinks goes really well. And I totally agree with the gaminess of the lamb that's mixed in with the soft, you know, mm -hmm. savor of the pork. Yeah. And coming up here, summer in full effect, you guys are in the Mecca yeah. for the Ski Run Farmer's Market with your outdoor it, patio, the umbrellas, that's yeah. where it's at. It is, I mean, I, you know, there is, in one way, this place comes alive in the winter. Yeah. But in another way, we are not really hopping until summer because we have the outside garden yeah. and events like Farmer's Market, we actually, are on the street right in front of the of the restaurant here and all the weddings and catering that we do. Speaking of the catering, I mean, you don't put your best foot forward just here at the restaurant. You also do at events like the Sample de Sierra, yeah. the Chamber Expo, but also catering for large events. Absolutely. You know, we got pushed into it, you know, out of demand. <laughs> there you it go. Was when people came in here and they saw the atmosphere and the professional service and, you know, the food, they were just like, you've got to do our wedding for us because they couldn't find enough really good caterers. That's a good problem. Now. Yeah, it, it was. It was. But we really had to expand a lot you know yeah. it was it took a lot out of the company to and the kitchen which is tiny mm -hmm. um, you know to be able to crank out you know 100 person weddings like yeah. for a day on the Saturday when we're full yeah yeah, yeah. well yeah, I appreciate the tough. time we're gonna You're take welcome. a quick break we're gonna be back talking about this winemakers dinner and more like the loft upstairs here at Blue Angel Cafe stay tuned